Okay, this is a uh, install video, uh, just kind of going underway for this product called Max Den for a C6 Corvette, which replaces your uh, factory radio or heads up or display, your factory um, air condition unit, and the seat heater controls on a C6 console. And uh, this has like a really neat interface to it, and it's a, a product that's called. Uh, Max Den. So this is actually a uh, friend of mine's car. I'm doing this too. So my first time doing it. It looks pretty darn plug and play so far, but uh, that's kind of it. Obviously, we just got this off. If you've never taken one of those off, or there are other videos to do, it. it's actually really easy um, to to pop the the piece off, and especially on the automatic car, you don't have to mess with the shifter. But, uh, so that's the Max Den unit. Uh, so the guy that uh, built these in his garage from Las Vegas, he says, it's a hell of a, hell of a machine for somebody building something in the garage. That's, uh, I don't know if he took uh, some other application this thing went to and, and re-interfaced it or what, but I can tell you what, uh, both my friend and I agree that <laughs> Somebody building this in the garage, that guy's uh, missed his calling. <laughs> so that's pretty damn incredible. <laughs> so anyway, we're putting that in this car. It'll replace, it goes into here. So it comes in from behind. Uh, obviously, we'll get that in there in a minute, but hold that up just for, for looks. And so, that's your whole C6 screen there. Has the air condition controls, your seat heater controls, uh, all the other functionality here, uh, radio navigation, um, everything built into that. So uh, it'll be neat to see. So I'll, I'll add on to this. Uh, factory radio just comes out. In fact, I've got it already loose. Just gonna pull it out here. I think I'm gonna take the bolts out of it. Uh, how many more do we have on that thing? It gets loose when we got holding it on there. There it is. Yep. So we just unplug that and take the basic plugs out of it here. And there's a spot for each one of these in that Max Den unit uh, back there. I think it has an interface cable that goes to the smaller ones. That's what that cable is. We'll, we'll get that in a minute, but. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually read any instructions on it. I'm just winging this thing as far as I can go. Then I'll go back and read the instructions after the fact. You know how that goes. Uh, so anyway, we'll have that out, and I'll add on to this video when we start putting it back in, and then get the uh, the thing set up to where it's working. But anyway, just pull your console out. We don't didn't pull anything with this out on the C6. We just took the lid off. Or two screws right here pop those up two screws right here set that aside pop that over and just bang pull it off and then you undo underneath here obviously it's got your uh plugs here for cigarette lighter and that's the, i think that's traction control there and uh up here the hazards that's pretty much it and that unit sets aside whole console piece very serviceable very easy really <laughs> nothing like dealing with a older c4 or even a c3 or it was getting real hard. It's as simple. Okay, so we basically took the factory units out and plugged the uh, aftermarket unit in here, the uh, Max Den unit, and it's really pretty simple. It comes with a, a, a factory plug, a Y plug, and that's the main one that went to your, your radio before. The air condition and heated seat controls just bang, 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 plug right in there. This is the aftermarket plug loop goes through here and there's only one little catch it depends on whether you have bows or not bows this little y piece goes in here and uh he does a real good video on the website it if in fact he's very very over explanatory with it <laughs> so uh if you have any trouble that's obviously there but this is just kind of a um showing you what he built and how easy this thing really is to put in there. Now there's some GPS antennas we haven't got to yet. We're gonna put those in and a few other things. These plugs right here, they just ha they hang. This is the radio antenna. It's got an extended wire right there. I haven't plugged that in yet, 
Uh, that goes back to the hazard lights. And he has a lot of this other stuff is for the cameras, the front and rear camera, and for if you have an aftermarket radio, it has line ins and outs and uh, a subwoofer. But this is working the Bose, so it's going to go through all the factory. This is a Bose car. So that's kind of what the screen looks like. Uh, I don't know anything about the software on this yet, uh, how it works, or anything. So it's all touch screen. Uh, this is all new. This is the first time I've got it powered up. And I will start learning here from a minute and add this onto the video. But there's your air condition. You can turn it on right here. Uh, I just have the car on accessories. And fan speeds, uh, things like that over here. I think that's part of your, that's your defrost and auto for the climate control. And the heated seats are all done down in here now. They're all electronic. I believe those are your heated seats here. You got dual, there's max, and auto. Look at that. It's kind of cool. So it's all touch screen now. Um, but anyway, there, there's a lot more to, to this that, than uh, software that I know right now. But this is just the hard install. And when it's in there, it bolts right in place. And we're not going to bolt it in yet because we're still in a, at those antennas. And then obviously your factory bezel piece goes back in there. And I mean, if I was to do this, as an installer, having done at least just one before, I could get to this point in 10 minutes or less. I mean, it's it's very it's very easy. Uh, so uh, he built a hell of a hell of an easy product to install. Very comprehensive, very nice. As like I said, I think he missed his calling if he built all this in the garage. But <laughs> it's way over my head how you would uh, you would build something like this in a garage with all this. It's, it's got to be like an, uh, a mixed interface of different things that he put together, which is clever in itself. Absolutely. So anyway, we'll add more to this video in a minute. So again, this is just the product, the C6 Max Den product, which is pretty damn neat. And doing the uh, video on this Max Den product that we uh, see the beginning of it. That product here, uh, we finally got it all installed. It was actually very simple. Um, most of the videos are online. In fact, if you've got any experience with any kind of installation of anything, this is not hard to do. Um, so I just want to demonstrate what it looks like now. We showed you installing part of it. So here it is. This is the Max Den from Night Drive TV. So it replaces the entire three-piece unit uh, there, which were the uh, factory radio, the air condition controls, and the man uh, manual button seat heaters and stuff down here. And we haven't even taken the protector plate off of it there yet. So that's first. And so behind it, you saw the, the, the video before has... Uh, the basic plugins basically it has a, a pigtail that plugs into everything else and it has a option for the bose radio so this is a bose car which is nothing but a, a little loop through pass through piece that goes in there just a, wires up a little different uh, very self-explanatory and not much to it there so here's the radio um i am uh let's see channel going here Got an FM here There's a... Ooh. so basically all your factory steering controls work in fact you can go in and change some of the settings to these things let me go on station and of course it has uh, all of your uh, base treble controls and things like that so we're just doing the the basic steering wheel controls here and that works uh so am fm uh then it has uh, a rear camera for backup uh i don't have that i mean we got it hooked up but you have to actually start the car to get the power to the back uh lights one thing about a c6 the reverse lights don't come on unless the motor is actually running even in reverse kind of kind of strange so anyway the camera wires up to the reverse light so I don't want to start it up in the building yet, but it pops up like a, a typical backup uh, camera. And so this is kind of your menu. You, you stroke up on the, oh, excuse me, what, I just hit the radio button. Up like, like that, 
Come on, I'm getting not used to it here. Uh, hit the home button first, sorry, that's my fault. I'm being an idiot. This is, I'm new to this. This is my first time to really kind of go through this. Of course, it's got navigation, you can hit that. It's gonna tell you where you're at, things like that. Um, that's your radio controls down here. And down here is now your factory air conditioning controls. So uh, you can bring all that up and you can hit, of course the car's not running, so it's gonna, that does not come up normally. Normally it'll be bright. So I just have it in the accessory mode. And then uh, you go back here, you've got the seat heaters in there. Let me go back to that. Uh, here, turn the seat heaters on uh, and everything will work there. Temperature controls, it'll have a display for that. So that's, if it was running, it'd be lit up. So it's not, they're not running there, it's pretty neat. And I also have it in night mode because I have the, the parking lights on on purpose just to make it look cool that way. You turn the parking lights off, it goes back to the day mode. So that's the day mode. And you can change all of that. It's got, you know, everything for that. And over here, see these controls, the buttons here, that still has analog buttons to where you can turn all this stuff on and off to through the screen or without it. Uh, Bluetooth, hook your phone up to it. It has, uh, this particular system has a SIM card in it. And uh, so you can actually use this as a regular phone or a uh, hotspot. It's a 4G, I believe, or 5G hotspot. And it, it works pretty well. Um, so the menu for the Android section of it is right here. So if you wanna to go to Google Chrome, you can do that. And here we have, oh, I was playing some boss gag stuff here so we got playing a YouTube video there and that's standalone from itself going through cellular network and this has the option to play the video while the car is moving so you don't have to rig anything up um, let's see I think if you go to full screen on this how does that work yep yeah pretty cool exit swipe down from the top got it so you got to swipe down from the top hmm. of course you know it has uh i'll go into it in a minute equalizer controls and things like that so you can do uh you know it's got like a parametric electric equalizer base treble uh, actually, a little more controls than the factory stuff does, so you can do anything with it. But, you know, it's all working through the Bose system, just like stock. And this particular unit, or all these units, have uh, another pigtail for them. So, if you're complete aftermarket, whoop, I got it over there. But it has, uh, you know, a four-channel output and uh, a subwoofer output, so you can go into separate amps and, and have a complete aftermarket head unit after this without having to mess with the factory stuff, if that what you desire. Let's try that slide down, right? Yep, there it is. Well, I guess I got to slip. So let's go back to home uh, and yeah, check it out. It plays in a in a box there. It's kind of cool. What else can we do with this? Uh, what is that control there? That's back to the home screen. So, you know, you can do your, your email and all that stuff and, and set it up any which way you want. It's, it's, it's an Android at this point. Um, and then we've got back to the deal there. And I think if you switch through the audio selections here, see what it does here. Uh, yep, it'll go through. Now you can cue through the radio, uh, your phone music. Let's see what you got here. So there's stuff here. Different inputs. That's the regular phone there. You can make a phone call there. That's my Bluetooth, this phone here. I don't have it hooked up. So auxiliary input, back to the radio. And let's see, hit, go to that, hit play and that's back on. Or is it? Play. Uh, I'm kind of messing up there. Allow picture in picture, it's on. Anyway, I'm doing something wrong here. Let's go to home. 
it's going to require me a little bit more learning. But anyway, I don't want to bore you with just going through all this. But that's a basic look at it. And I said, I, I'm a first time user of this. So I'm, I'm playing with it, not knowing what I'm doing. Um, but I didn't know how to install it. Install it. It's, uh, it's good. I said, I've, we're a shop here. And, and this was very, very, very simple for us. So you know, home users can do this with just the basic uh, video. And the hardest part to the whole job, honestly, is just the, the, the camera in the back for, for your uh, backup camera, which is, if you've ever installed one for any type of thing, it's the same deal. Just the one RCA wire we've got hidden back there. And this one we have coming out here. So that's just the backup camera. Um, it's right in that position because it's the easiest place to put it on this car without having to cut any holes. And we use one of the screws for the uh, uh, license plate lights to mount it on that side. So it works out and no alterations to the car, nothing. And if you watch the video to do that, you take this light out right here. The uh, regrommet goes through here. You pour your stuff that there, hook it up to your, your reverse lights, which on, the, on these cars, when you look in that harness, there's a dark green wire and there's a light green wire. The dark green wire is your, your brake lights and your light green wire is your reverse light. So that's the one you wanna use. So you just hook the positive power of the camera up to the light green light so you don't have to run any wires all the way up to the front. And all you have is the one small RCA cable going back to that unit there. So that's it. So kind of a neat product. Uh, I have not called, looked online, asked for any help. Uh, I know he's got a uh, like a Facebook page that has help on this, and I believe he'll answer the phone himself. Uh, uh, his little video that took five minutes to watch basically went through. This is all the, the factory stuff we pulled out of the car. So those are the three parts that get replaced uh, with his unit. Those relays or something else. I've got nothing to that. These are the uh, seat heaters and stuff here. And all of that to take out, you watched me do it on the previous part of this video was nothing it's easy so neat product um like i said he i he claims he builds it home in his garage and if that guy built that in the garage like i said he's missed he's missed his call that's a hell of a nice unit so uh, that's kind of the look it gives the car there i will turn the lights off just to see what it looks like or the these area lights the big shop lights are going to still be on <laughs> see what it looks like there Kind of neat. Anyway, so hope that helps and thanks for watching.